with the MIS, uh, I mean, what we'll do, I'm going to log into a primary school because I guess most of your clients, most of your schools will be primary schools. So just for a quick flavour and show you how simple and intuitive the system is, I'll log into a primary school. So what we've done, we've separated the product into primary and secondary user interfaces. So this is a primary school logging in. It's just simple, slick interface to make it as easy as possible for a primary to move over from the incumbent MIS to the new one. What we call this is one click. Basically, anywhere within the MIS, I can get with one click. So I can get to student data, I can get to my groups, I can get to my staff, do my census, run a report. And we'll start with student, just give you a quick overview to show you this particular screen. And the idea of this is that a primary admin can manage the entire school from this one screen without having to move away. So first of all, I've got all student data. So I've got here 424 students. I can filter this on the left-hand side. So if I just want to work on year six, filter down. If I just want to look at the girls in year six, I can filter female. And I've got 27 females in year six. If I want to flick that, I can flick that to photo view, list view. The columns of data you see against each child, again, I can customise to myself what I want to see. So if I want to see on the contact one and I didn't want age, I can do that, and it will refilter that and put that information on. Obviously, it's going to be skewed with the amount of data I put on uh, and the resolution of the projector. So what I'm just going to do quickly is remove contact one, though, just get it looking slick again. So I can quickly filter. The filters on the left-hand side, again, I can customise. So if I need to look for you know, any particular filter, add that on, filter it down, I've got them pupils on screen. And that's just some quick features. But what we find that primaries do is use this as a quick report builder. So I've got a minute filtered down to year six girls. For what I run that as a report, I can drag these into any order I want, move these columns about, and in one click, put that to Excel. And from there, I can either carry on working on the data or run a report. Now, report building is really simple, really easy to do. But I see a lot of primary schools using that as a quick report builder. What the screen's really designed for is managing the student data. So whether I'm going in, I've had a few phone calls, I need to amend attendance. So this parent's told me the child's going to be late and it's 15 minutes this morning. This parent's told me that this child's going to be going on a medical this afternoon and I can put a quick note in, etc. And I've basically amended their attendance. Maybe some more of the children I need to go in now as admin and I've got to record a behavioural event, so I go to behaviour pick the behaviour code, so in this case, let's say it's listening, uh, and it's going to be uh, good listening, put in by whichever teacher, and save, and I've just gone into behaviour. Where historically, obviously, a lot of you will see Broncom thinking, well, it's more a secondary product, and it was. Four or five years ago, it was very much like the incumbent. It was a, a standard product, whether you're primary, secondary, whatever. What we did, though, five years ago, we split the software team. So we have a software team now working on the primary UX user experience, and one working on the secondary. And then I'd say the idea of this is so that one person can manage the entire thing. So again, end of the year, you could pick the whole of year six, process them as levers, pick the children who go into a certain secondary school, and again, do a CTF export, which local authority, which school, there's my CTF file, S to S, job done. So again, I'm managing absolutely everything from one screen. Pick children I want, I maybe want to send a, an SMS or an email to these contacts. I can either go down and start typing a message, or I can pick a pre-built template. You can insert fields into your templates. Uh, I can send that as SMS or email. Obviously, email I can put attachment to. But what I've also got is send push notification. So as a parent, I've got access to a, an online portal called My Child at School. But there's also an app, iOS, Android app. If the parents install that, the system will know. And what it'll do if I take this particular box, it'll send a push notification to the parents who've installed the app, but then send an SMS to the parents who've not installed the app. So obviously, that can reduce the cost. So as hopefully you can see, I can manage my student data very similar from one screen. If I need two of the children I've selected, I can view their student record. So it's going to open up the record for each of them children, and I can then flip between them, whichever one I want to look at. And this is a, just a quick overview of the student record. Down the left-hand side, depending on your access right, depends which tabs you see. Just like you've got, and again, all the data you've got here is going to migrate out of the incumbent MIS. So whether you're looking at you know, health and background data, you're looking at your contact data, everything you've seen here is going to be migrated. Uh, what you've also got is additional things like safeguarding. So this I can go into, a teacher would obviously will not see this level of information, but they could go in and log incidents. They can type what kind of incidents, so maybe the child's coming today with a bruise. So I can say they've got a bruise on left arm, I can flick to my body map, indicate where that is, so go and complete the incident, and then it'll send an email or a text to the safeguard lead. 
Now, currently, they'll have to buy an additional system to do that. So they may be using something for safeguarding. They might have a text messaging, emailing system, various bolt-ons onto. And this is what James was saying. You know, when you look at the TTO, these are the things you've got to take into consideration is you can remove all the bolt-ons. Yes, Broncon has got an API. So day one, what we always recommend is you swap out the MIS, keep your bolt-on systems, because they'll have different length SLAs. And as you get to the end of the SLA with each one, switch them off and move that over into the Broncon MIS. I say this has been a real quick tour of it. You can do a lot more. Like I say, this is a really re easy report builder, label builder. You know, like I say, I'm more than happy to come out, sit with your support teams, go through it in great detail. I'm just going to hand over to John, though, because he's going to quickly touch on the fact that we've got a fully integrated finance system. And when Jason says quickly, he means <laughs> quickly. So what we did with our finance system, we engaged with um, Newham Partnership and their schools to start putting together our own finance package because we found there wasn't another cloud-based system out there that had one. So if you're familiar with FMS, a lot of the information you can see on screen will be clear because it's the market leader for the finance system. It does work. But what we did, and this is what I'm going to show you, is the areas where we decided to improve it. Feedback was such things as... So we set it all up, but let's look at suppliers. So you'll be able to go in and um, administer or adjust your suppliers. And my mouse has stopped working. Why is my mouse stopped working? I've broken Jason's laptop. Give me a second. Oh, it's doing it now. So we've got our individual suppliers here, which is quite familiar. You can set up your suppliers in the system. Difference is, straight away here, I'm in the suppliers list, but... I can raise an order from here. I don't have to go somewhere else in the system. But better than that, let's have a look at the actual supplier. So if I view edit the supplier, I've got all the information here, including the activity for that particular supplier. Every single purchase order that we've got for the supplier is immediately accessible on that screen. I do not need to go somewhere else with a little post-it note with my supplier reference in order to raise a purchase order. I can do it straight from here. I can do a free text or just a generic purchase order. And again... On the purchase order record, we've got everything here. You've got the details, delivery notes, invoice credits, documents. So we're replicating the function you need in a fully featured finance product, but at the same time, we are leveraging the benefits that cloud browser-based interfaces give you, and we are taking immediate feedback from our users and making swift, quick, and they mentioned agile, changes to the system to bring it up to speed. And that's pretty much all we can cover, unfortunately. We've had some, lots of good feedback from all you all. Thank you ever so much.